It began when uh, the person who actually created the chimes, Richard Cook, uh, made one of his annual visits to St. Augustine and uh, a couple of uh, friends of his here, they were just dreaming about what it would be like to have those types of chimes that he had in places all over the world and other musical instruments too, uh, here to represent, quote, let freedom ring. It's basically a commemoration to our city's uh, amazing civil rights history here as well as the African-American storyline that has been really centered, for the most part, in this Lincolnville neighborhood that we're in. I was approached by someone from Keep Riberia Point Green, and that was the citizens group that lobbied to keep Riberia Point from being developed. And one of the guys in that group knew that I had this pile of old marble stairs in my yard. I've had the stone sitting in my yard for a long time. Had opportunities to use one or two pieces here or there, but I always resisted thinking someday I'm gonna do something big and use the whole pile of it. And that's what this project turned out to be. <laughs> Looking for inspiration as far as something that would honor civil rights. I started looking at different quotes mainly from Martin Luther King, and there was the quote, the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. And I thought that was kind of a perfect quote for this project because the shape of the chimes was already in an arc, so that led me to the idea to create another arc, to have an arc that's leaning out towards the existing one. Compassionate St. Augustine has several things that they do at the Youth Academy and so I was talking to her about my students going in and doing a project and it just kind of coincided that they needed someone to handle uh, working with this group of guys to um, make tiles for Joe Siegel's bench. The, my students and I didn't do any of the drawings but we had conversations with and introduced these ideas to the guys at the Youth Academy and talked to them about what they were gonna draw and, and helped them with their ideas. Uh, and anyone who goes to that park will be able to see these individual drawings made by individual people that all add together to something bigger. And, and that's, that's what's really important about that um, project. I hope there's a process of discovery that happens when people are down there. The setting, is conducive to spending time and contemplating. Being able to do something that honors black history, the African-American community is very meaningful to me.